Hey, and welcome back for another ISO Bytes video series. In this video series, we'll talk about ISO 42001 AI management system. I'll cover all of the clauses four through 10, as well as all of the Annex A controls and give you everything you need to get your organization certified. Annex 9 talks about the use of AI systems. The objective here is to ensure that the organization uses AI systems responsibly and per organizational policies. So we've talked a lot about controls that were designed to help you think about how to build, how to train, how to assess, how to monitor, how to report, all kinds of information about your AI systems. These three controls are designed to help you actually use the AI system out in the wild. So the first control is A.9.2, Processes for Responsible Use of AI Systems. Now, this is a very broad control. Who determines what responsible use of your AI systems are? Well, it should be top management. There's going to be a lot of subjective discussion around this control within pretty much every management system. It depends on what you've built, what you're using AI for, how it may impact your data subjects, but ultimately someone needs to be accountable for what responsible use looks like. The control says the organization shall define and document the processes for the responsible use of AI systems. So what are those processes? It's up to you. You need to determine what those are. You need to think like a bad guy and think about how can my system be misused and abused and used for reasons it's not built for. And you need to try to articulate those so that people avoid that or they at least know they should not be doing that if they choose to do so. The next control is A.9.3, Objectives for Responsible Use of AI Systems. So this control is really all about identifying those objectives. Uh, again, you can look back at clause 6.2 and think about the objectives that you set there. But the goal of this control is to make sure that you are measuring and ensuring that your AI systems uh, have those objectives and they're in place and the right people know about them so that it can guide the use of your systems. The control says the organization shall identify and document objectives to guide the responsible use of AI systems. So what this also may look like is terms of use for your end users. Uh, think about ChatGPT, for example. They have certain terms of use. They ask you not to uh, try to pr present ChatGPT with violent prompts or with things that are not appropriate. Um, these are things to consider here for this control. The last control is A.9.4, intended use for the AI system. Now this can also come uh, into play with terms of use, but we'll talk about the specific phrasing of the control. It says the organization shall ensure that the AI system is used according to the intended uses of the AI system and its accompanying documentation. So again, you need to present users with their responsibilities and the asks in order to leverage your system, but you also need a way to ensure that they're using it in accordance with that guidance and that documentation. This can be a lot of different things. Uh, I could go into great detail about a lot of different ways to do this, but it's going to be wildly different depending on your system. So spend some time looking at A.9.4 implementation guidance and thinking about how this relates to you and what appropriate information you need to collect and stay on top of to ensure your end users are leveraging your systems as intended. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have questions about 42001, please reach out to us at risk360.com to see if we can help. Also, make sure to check out the description for some important links to other materials that will help you as you take your organization on this journey.